scale. So as you're getting set up here, um, mm -hmm. Chef Adam Graham, can you join me up here and tell me why is it important to massage the kale? Well, kale, two beautiful varieties here we have. Gorgeous. Is a very nutrient dense green. One okay. of the most, it's, a, it's considered practically a superfood. Okay. So when you cook the kale, you lose some of the, the nutritional the nutrient, ben right. benefits. Yeah. So there's an easy way to avoid having to cook the kale, and that's massaging it. Oh, because in a raw food detox diet, you wouldn't want to cook anything, right? No. That would totally no. blow the point, right? So this is the bouquet I show up to oh, my dates. Oh, that's very know, nice. Unless they come to my house. With a know? bouquet? Yes. Like, Adam, I came with a bouquet for you. There you go, there you go. <laughs> we'll juice this later. Okay. Okay, so. So romantic. Would we like to get the massaging going? or? Yeah, but or, um, do you want help with this? I could use a volunteer, actually. Okay, I think we have a volunteer from the audience to come help with the, the massage portion. A very beautiful lady here. Round of applause for her. I can tell she's got strong hands. Yes, That's good. come on. Come on you around need this strong way. strong hands. Okay, now you don't have a mic, and so that the, in, the people on the internet can uh, hear you. Why don't you tell us what your name is? My name is Vicki. Great, great. And Adam is going to actually have you massage some kale. So. First, I'm going to show her how to stem the kale. You grab and you kind of just oh, wow. it off like that. Really Look at like that. that. Another great okay. tip. And then, the secret to massaging the kale is to add, you have to put some salt on it. Right. So we, we don't want the uh, white table salt with the iodine on it. No, we, no. We'd like we Himalayan like salt awesome or a salt. Celtic sea salt. So we put a little bit of salt on it. Now, basically, Massage it. Just get in there. Just get in Push, there. Wash your hands first. Okay. We, we can wash your hands. Just start rubbing it around. Oh no no you, yeah. Go ahead. How would you massage yes, your date? Easy. Let's see how you would do this on the kale. Is that well, how you? Well, actually, you, <laughs> you, you, you got to be kind of rough too. Kale likes it rough. You know, I I remember dating a couple guys, and I, you know, we get to the point where they, they're okay with giving me a back rub, and mm -hmm. it's you, don't you hate when they're like little, like light. On the right. you know, that's so irritating. It's like I've had a hard day. It's tickling me. You know? You're right. All right, you're right. Now, yeah. That was a good visual. Okay, right. is this too much? No, this is good. <laughs> look at what's going on here. I did a good job. We had a bowl full of kale, and now yeah. it's shrunk. And look at the, well, the sheen on her. Yeah, she You is. sure are. Gold okay. star. You're yeah. hired. Thank you so much. Let's give a big round of applause for her. Yes. And if you want, you can wash your hands backstage. Thank you. And now, you know, once you've gotten into the massage and kale, that the subject's open for discussion. Yes, but let's stick to the food for right now, yes. Okay. Now, for massaging your date, I don't recommend <laughs> using salt. No. Um, coconut oil <laughs> is, or cacao butter, which okay. is, it's like a chocolate massage. Okay, you know, great. But we'll do that on the next show. Okay, so we've massaged our kale. What else would be going into this salad? Okay. We can put avocado in here, which okay. is a really nice addition. Um, but actually, before that, we put a little lemon juice. Okay. Or we could put um, some apple cider vinegar. Okay. The raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. That's Just the to good give stuff. It a little... Yeah, give it a little, a little sweet, a little sour. Okay. Um, this also helps break it down. And then we also add a little olive oil um, if you like. But you can also cut up the avocado, put it in there, and you can even massage the avocado in there, and that creates a dressing. Because avocado has this really pleasing, like, kind of creamy, smooth texture mm -hmm. because of the fat content. Well, so. and the thing with the raw food detox and raw foods in general, like the avocado, this is a good, healthy fat. We need those good, healthy fats, and um, they're one of the things that can help eliminate and prevent things like cellulite or other weight issues. Oh, um, which is also great if you're... Yeah, so these fats come in and they switch out the unhealthy ones and, um, you know, it's win-win. Uh, you know, I believe we have a question from our online audience. Yes, do. This actually comes from Mandy and she wants to know, Chef, have you always been in shape or was it is it due to your diet? Um, I've always been tall, skinny, and athletic. I'm jealous. Now I had I had a period where I had a little you know thing going on, and it was just because a little bit too much beer and, and uh, watching TV too much. I call it my donut. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So um, the diet has helped me optimize uh, my weight and just uh, boost my energy and make me just feel great. 
And I've noticed that a lot of raw food people are, you know, people who are really into that kind of stuff have great skin too, right? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So would you guys like to see what this finished product would look like once it has avocados and things like that, is it? Well, presto chain Joe, hang on. Check this out. This is, who wouldn't impress a date with this? Mm. So that's a kale salad. I see you have other things in there. What else? Yeah, is we in put there? some tomatoes in there. There's the gorgeous heirloom tomatoes. We have some yellow zebras and some of your traditional red tomatoes. And then um, we might have added some herbs in there. I'm always throwing in little surprises, so Great. you never know. Great. So let's have a big round of applause for this beautiful salad. So one of my all-time favorite cuisines is Italian food, especially on a date, because the Italians are known for their romance and just great simple flavors so that you don't have any complicated you know, food issues on your date. And one of my favorite dishes is also pesto. And I believe Chef Adam Graham has an alternative to the traditional pesto that you might be used to eating. And you use pumpkin seeds, is that correct? I do use pumpkin seeds. Great, great. And I believe we're just getting set up here. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We've got some audience uh, interaction here. Uh, you, do you use basil in this recipe as well to of give course, it? Of course, of okay. course. You can't have pesto without. I guess you could. I've made a rosemary pesto before, um, so I, you know, I like to take from the tra traditional styles and then and then add. Uh, a little spin, a little okay. twist on it. So. Speaking of spins and twists, you would need a food processor, yes, right? Yes, I would. And look, he magically has one available. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I like to make these recipes really accessible. I just don't know our machine, you there know? There you go. Okay. So, um, one of the, a food processor, most people have food processors. Yes. Um, and this is, this is a kitchen item that's very useful for making all kinds of goodies. Great. Uh, marinara, I would do a, uh, we're gonna have a marinara sauce later. We're not gonna okay. show that, but you would do the same procedure you prepared okay. in here. So for this pesto recipe, you started out with how many, um, how much pumpkin seed? That much. That much pumpkin seed. Uh, you can start, <laughs> depending on um, how many people you're serving, you can go, um, that was, uh, I believe, one cup of pumpkin seeds. You can double the recipe. This keeps a long time. Um, and then there's a half cup of fresh basil that's stuffed in this little bowl. Um, it's beautiful and it smells great too. I, I'm so lucky to still it. Yeah, basil is a wonderful healing herb. Great. Um, it has a high content of vitamin C uh, amongst many other um, healing components. Um, 